What's up guys, today's video is on the top 4 best electric scooters of 2024. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 4 Swagtron Swagger 5 Boost The electric scooter has a black aluminum alloy frame with silver-gray lettering and red wires. Unlike some other brands, the battery is not located in the front stem, but beneath the deck. This can be a problem if you ride over bumps or potholes, as the battery compartment may get damaged, but it's not a common occurrence. The stem can be folded down and locked onto the back wheel to make it easier to carry or put into a car trunk. It weighs 26 pounds, which is lighter than the GoTrax GXL V2 and even my personal e-scooter, the Slijo X8, which is now unavailable. The boost is easy to lift over one step, but it may be too heavy for carrying up a full flight of stairs. The display shows the speed and battery level, and the on-off button can switch between the boost's three speed modes. The deck has a decent grip and an IPX4 water resistance rating, but it's not recommended to ride it in heavy rain. The boost can carry up to 320 pounds, but heavier weights will reduce its performance. If you live in a hilly area, the Swagger 5 Boost is a dependable electric scooter that can perform well on steep inclines, reaching up to 14 miles per hour. On a flat surface, it can achieve its top speed of 18 miles per hour, with immediate and powerful acceleration. The foot brake may be an issue for some people, but overall, the Swagger 5 Boost is a good option for commuting or short distance journeys. It costs less than $400, making it an affordable choice for those looking for a starter scooter with decent speed and range. However, if you need to travel faster or longer distances, you may need to invest in a more powerful and expensive model. Number 3 Highboy S2 The Highboy S2 R Plus electric scooter is a black scooter with orange highlights and white and blue branding stickers. It features 9-inch air-filled tires at the front and back, with the front one holding the 350W motor and brakes on both the front and rear. The flat base houses a replaceable battery pack and a kickstand for propping up the scooter when not in use. The charging port is located above the base on the right side of the stem. The battery is removable and replaceable and includes its own charging port, making it easy to have one battery charging while the other powers the scooter. The handlebars are located on the top of the stem, with the right handle featuring the throttle control and the left handle having the brake control and a small bell for warning people around you. The display, located between the handlebars closer to the rider, shows battery level, speed mode, drive speed and other functional information. A button below the display is used for changing speed modes, turning the lights on and off, setting cruise control, and turning the scooter on and off. The stem folds near the bottom and attaches to a latch on the front of the rear fender for easy carrying and loading into a vehicle. To turn on the scooter, press the button for a second. Pressing and holding for 3 seconds turns it off. Pressing the button once while it's on turns on the front and rear light, and another single press turns the lights off. Double pressing the button changes the speed mode, with the display showing a red S in a circle for sport mode, up to 19 miles per hour, and a green S in a circle for drive mode, up to 13 miles per hour. Number 2 Segway 9 Bot Kick Scooter Max The 9 Bot Kick Scooter Max is among the sturdiest electric scooters available, excluding those with full suspension. It boasts 10-inch inflatable tires, a thick down tube, a large, rubber-coated deck, and a powerful battery. In contrast, the Anegi Model 1 appears slim and sleek. The Kick Scooter Max has an LED display that shows all the necessary information, but it is smaller than the Anegi's display. The Kick Scooter Max's weight is a downside, weighing in at 41.2 pounds, which is almost 15 pounds heavier than the Anegi Model 1. This makes it less portable, especially if you need to carry it on a bus, subway, or up a flight of stairs. However, the Max has a bright headlight and taillight, and the taillight flashes when you hit the brakes, making it more visible to cars. It also has an IPX5 rating for water resistance, meaning that it can withstand a rainstorm. During a test drive, the Kick Scooter Max provided a smooth ride on its 10-inch tires, despite the lack of shock absorbers. It handled potholes and sidewalk cracks with ease. The Max has a single 350-watt motor in its rear wheel, whereas the Anegi has dual 250-watt motors. Despite this, the Max was able to climb steep inclines with ease, with Segway claiming that it can handle 20-degree inclines. On a steep incline that caused lesser-powered scooters to slow down to 5 to 6 miles per hour or less, the Kick Scooter Max maintained a speed of around 9 to 10 miles per hour. The Anegi performed better, averaging around 14 miles per hour. 
Number 1 NIU Keiichi 3 Max The Nyo Ki 3 Max is the best all-around electric scooter we've tested. While commuters and those if you need to carry a scooter upstairs, then the Anegi Model 1 would be more suitable for you. However, the Ki 3 Max is an excellent choice when it comes to range, performance, and handling. One notable feature of the Ki 3 Max is its headlight, which is a large circular LED that stands out among other electric scooters. Its taillight is more traditional with a red LED bar. The Key 3 Max has dual mechanical disc brakes that are painted red and stop the scooter incredibly fast. It also has a rear electronic brake that can recover some energy and put it back into the battery. You can adjust the setting in the Nyo app to get about 4% battery life back. The Key 3 Max's deck is spacious, measuring 22.4 by 6.3 inches, and is covered in a rubberized material that offers plenty of grip for your shoes. I found the Key 3 Max to be a real joy to ride. Its 450W motor is not much more powerful than other models on paper, but its peak output of 700W gave it some serious pickup. This was most noticeable when getting started and on hills, where the Key 3 Max excelled compared to other models. On a 6% road grade, the Key 3 Max was able to maintain a speed of around 10 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Other scooters, such as the Turbo Ant V8, with a 450W motor, could only muster 6 miles per hour at best. On a much steeper grade of around 9%, the Key 3 Max slowed down to about 5 to 6 miles per hour, but still kept going. Thank you watching this video do like and subscribe.